Hello, this is Joe Pryor with the virtualrealestateteam.com in Oklahoma City, a part of Redbud Realty and Associates. I was on a webinar earlier, earlier today uh, with some nationally known experts uh, in distressed property. And they were discussing the state of the market, which is a mixed state of the market. We know that a lot of areas are getting better, that sales are up. Uh, we know that there's still a distressed inventory that's out there. Uh, but I really wanted to focus on three things here uh, that I think are really important. If you are a financially distressed homeowner in Oklahoma City, the market that I work, uh, I really want to talk to you right now because this first statistic just kind of blew me away, just blew my mind, as they said in the 60s. Uh, and that is this. Um, when we're looking at the shadow inventory, one of the evaluations that the lenders do uh, is look at people that have missed three payments or 90 days late. Uh, and the reason why they consider that a distressed property is because of national statistics. Right now, 97% of people that have missed 90 days worth of payments are going into foreclosure. 3% is the only amount that are actually getting something done with, uh, and very often it's with a loan modification, which means down the road, they're gonna be in the same boat. But if you are a distressed homeowner, if you've missed three payments, I just want you to know that the statistics are against you. Uh, that, you know, don't bury your head in the sand. Don't think, oh, well, something's gonna to happen to make things better because the numbers just don't work and you need to really be trying to do a short sale. Now, the reason why you should be doing a short sale is two other reasons, uh, besides the fact that you're probably not gonna make it. The second reason is that ever since they did the settlement with the five largest banks and what they've done with those banks, they've now set the parameters for what uh, is going to be any kind of fines. In other words, they didn't know exactly uh, what the government was going to do about properties in foreclosure because of certain issues. And so they held off on foreclosures, but that was now out of the way. Uh, and so they are at very rapidly foreclosing on properties right now. Uh, and so this is happening in Oklahoma City. We can see the numbers increasing. We can see it around the country. So the second part is if you're 90 days late, getting towards that six months, they're not going to hesitate whatsoever. They're not going to remove it from the sheriff's sale list. They're going to go after you. Now, the third reason is the end of the Mortgage Indebtedness Relief Act at the end of the year. This is where that if you have a foreclosure and not a short sale that you're going to be owing the IRS quite a bit of money because whatever the loss is that is taxable income and in a foreclosure you're not protected but if they do not renew this by the end of the year then you're also in trouble uh, if you try to do a short sale next year you're going to have a taxable event and you should not have to be forced in to bankruptcy in order to do a sale uh, and so here's the thing uh, I'm going to go and just review these three items. If you're 90 days late, there's a 97% chance that you're going to go into foreclosure. Number two, the lenders now know the game. They are foreclosing on properties very, very quickly. They are not going to hesitate with you. There is no get out of jail free card here. The third thing is the end of the Mortgage Indebtedness Relief Act, so you need to act now. We're in June. That gives us six months to close this. And believe me, short sales take a little bit longer, especially if you have a second mortgage, than any other kind of sale. And so you want to get closed by December 31st. So if you are a financially distressed homeowner in the Oklahoma City market, please do not hesitate. Get a hold of me at joe at joeprior.com. That's J-O-E at j-o-e-p-r-y-o-r.com or you can go to our website avoidforeclosureoklahoma.com contact us through that or get the latest information that you need but do not wait if you're not making your payments if you're 90 days late because things are going to get worse for you not necessarily better and we can help them be better this is joe Pryor of the virtual real estate team.com in oklahoma city where we deliver traditional real estate values at the speed of technology.